I wonder, when I was in high school before, we have to learn a basic concept called S balancing chemical equation. It's kind of hassle for me last night because I have to think how to balance up the reactor and also the product. Something does not give me any sense why I have to learn all of this. I still wonder why. Hello everyone, welcome back to City Bicara Kimiawa. So as for today, just like I talked just now, we are going to talk about balancing equation. Back to my question just now, what balancing equation is very important in chemistry? Let's I give you an analogy like making a cake. If you want to bake a cake, we need to have some ingredients in order to make a perfect cake. Similar with chemical equation. If you want to know how much product that we want to produce, Obviously, we need to know how much reactant we need to balance it up to get the product we want. So, that is why it is very important for us as chemists to know balancing equation as a basic. In matriculation syllabus, there are two methods for you to balance up chemical equation. First method, which is called as inspection method, and the second method we call as ion electron method. In this video, I'm going to teach you on how to balance up chemical equation by using inspection method. All right, everyone. Now let's try and do the inspection method for the balanced chemical equation. All right, let's do it. Okay, so here are the question: Balance the chemical equation by applying the inspection method. So as you can see, we have few elements on the reactant, which is NH3 plus CuO and the product we have Cu, N2 and also H2O. So as you can see here, the number of the elements in the chemical equation is not really balanced yet. So the rules of thumb is very similar like what you guys have played in your SPM before, which is we have to balance up the elements in the reactant similarly with the number on the product side. And also remember again, we always have to balance up an element that is starting with other elements first and then we balance up oxygen and last hydrogen atom. So from this example, we have two elements which is nitrogen and also copper, the one that we have to balance it up first. So if we look from nitrogen, we have one on the reactant and we have two on the product. So what we can do is we put two on the reactant so that now we have two nitrogen on both left and also right. Next, we go on copper. So we can see that on the reactant copper, we have one mole and on the product, we also have one mole as well. So this is so-called already been balanced. Next, we go for oxygen and also hydrogen. So if you go for oxygen, as you can see on the reactant side, we have one oxygen on the reactant and we have one oxygen on the right hand side so it is so called as balanced next we go for hydrogen as you can see here hydrogen we have h3 here means we have three hydrogen but do not forget we have to times two at the front so now we have six hydrogen on the reactant side but on the product side we only have two hydrogen so now what we have to do to balance up the number of hydrogen on the reactant and the product, we have to put three here. So now, as you can see, both hydrogen is balanced up on the reactant and the product. But once we put three here, the number of oxygens now becomes different. Now we have three oxygen on the product, one oxygen on the reactant. So we have to put three oxygen on the reactant side. So now the oxygen is already been balanced. And again, we put three here, copper. Now we have three copper on the reactant and one copper on the product. So we can put number three in front of the copper on the, on the product. So now the number of copper is balanced. So now let's check whether all the element has been balanced or not. So nitrogen, we have two on the reactant. Nitrogen, two on the product. Hydrogen we have three times two, which is six on the reactant. And the product, we have three times two, which is six as well. 
copper. We have three on the reactant, and we also have three on the product, and oxygen. We have three oxygen on the reactant, and also we have three oxygen on the product. So as you can see now, the number of elements on the reactant and product are balanced. So here you go. These are the answer for the first question. Alright, so I hope that from this first example, you guys are able to get it step by step. So now let's move on to the second example. Similar question, balance the chemical equation by applying the inspection method. Now we have Al, aluminium, with H2SO4, and product we have aluminium sulfate and H2. So let's start again step by step. Aluminium, we have one on the pro on reactant and we have two on the product. So we can put two aluminium on the reactant. Now aluminium is so called as balanced. Now we look at sulfur. There is only one sulfur on the reactant. But on the product, we have three. Do not forget, the number bracket outside means you have to times inside. So now we have three sulfur. Three sulfur on the product, one sulfur on the reactant. So what we can do, we can put three in front of H2SO4. So now we have three sulfur on the reactant, three sulfur on the product. Next, we balance up oxygen. As you can see on the reactant now, we have four oxygen but do not forget to times three here so we have 12 oxygen on the reactant and on the product four oxygen and outside the bracket so we have to time as well so four times three 12 so meaning to say we have 12 oxygen on the reactant 12 oxygen on the products means it's already been balanced next hydrogen we have three times two six hydrogen on the reactant but on the product we only have two hydrogen so, what we can do to balance it up, we put three hydrogen on the product. So now we have six hydrogen. So, let's check whether all these elements has balanced up on the reactant and also product. So, Al here, we have two on the reactant. And on the product, we have also two, Al2. And then for sulfur, we have three sulfur on the reactant. And on the product, we also have three sulfur next we go for oxygen so oxygen again like I told you three times four so we have 12 oxygen and on the product side we have four times three because the bracket so we also have 12 oxygen on the reactor in the product and last we go for hydrogen three times two which is six and then on the product side three times two which is six as well so, you can see that the element on the reactant and product are identical. So, it means that this equation is balanced. Right, so, two examples has been shown to you. Next, we are going to prepare to use this question where you guys can try and by pausing this video for a while, give it a try and I'll give the answer in a bit. Well, there you go. I have shown you two examples just now on how to balance up chemical equation by using inspection method. And I also have given you two questions for you to try. So I really hope that you guys give it a try and practice it hard, okay? So if you like this video, hope you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Alright, till then, 